right, we're going to take a quick look at the newest template here called Epic Soccer. Okay, so I'm going to just take a quick run through here, show you some of the layer options and things that we've got set up, a couple different tweaks that you can do, just so you can get the most out of this one. Um, so here's how it's going to load up. And what we're going to do is let's just turn off the layers and take a look at these and see what we've, what we've got set up here. Okay, so I'm going to shut all these off, and we'll take it down to our base background layer. So the base background starts here and then we're going to kind of build up some effects from here that we have built in. So the first thing that you're going to see here is we have field lines. And so these are the field lines uh, for the soccer goal. Um, so that will allow you to turn those on and off. You know, if you want to use them for different sports or just get a different look, that option is there. Um, the next one that we have up here is a night sky layer. So that's just going to turn that sky uh, down to dark and give us a nighttime effect. So that's one of the cool things about this template is um, you can kind of get like a daytime or sunset effect or a nighttime effect for some different looks there. Um, we'll come back to this highlight one in a minute, our darken layer. That just gives everything a little bit more darkening punch just to help push with that nighttime effect. Then we have some field lights in here. Uh, you'll take notice the field lights are grouped here and they're grouped individually. So these can be controlled independently duplicated, whatever you like to do with them. And then within the field light groups are the ind independent controls for each light. <coughs> so the light beams, uh, lights on and off themselves, and there's the light. So again, those can be duplicated, moved, disabled, uh, however you'd like to work with those. The next one that we have here is the scoreboard. So this is kind of a cool feature on this one. So on this scoreboard, you're going to take notice that it is set up as a smart object. Um, so the good thing about this smart object, and if you're not familiar, here's what you want to pay attention to, is in this little corner of the thumbnail, you'll see this little graphic. We're going to double click on that. When we do, it's going to load this scoreboard up into a new document window. And from here, we can customize this scoreboard. Um, so you'll see there's a place here for the school logo. You could drop that into the corner. Um, all of the different numbers uh, for these different areas here, uh, you know, the period, the timer, uh, the guess, the shots, score, home team stuff, those are all in there independently and can be changed. And their change is simply by just expanding the group. And here you'll see we've got digit one and two, both independent. If we wanted to change this score from five to six we would just double click this is just a text option there is a link on the page description to the font that I'm using that you can load up we'll change that to six and apply that and now we've changed our score the top and bottom rows of text can also be modified so let's say on our bottom text uh, we want to change that uh, we'll just say go wildcats and we'll apply that. And once we get everything changed, oh, we can even change our color here too. Uh, so if we go into this hue saturation layer and go to our properties window, we can actually drag this slider around and change the color of the scoreboard. So let's say we wanted to go uh, more blue. Okay. We get everything changed in the scoreboard that we like. All we're going to do is, is hit the X on this document window, and when it asks us if we want to save, you're going to say yes. And when you do, it's going to update that smart object. So now we've got the new color for our scoreboard, the new score, the new text. Okay, so pretty easy to use. The next layer up, this is just some little bit of a lighting effect for that scoreboard. I'm going to turn it off. I'll show you when to use that in just a second. Uh, right here, this label uh, night color. This, again, is just a little bit of color grading to give some cool night tones to that. We've got some atmosphere on these lights here. So here's for the right side and the left side. Some background atmosphere. And this is just going to kind of cover this horizon and start to blend everything together for you there into the background. Our soccer goal is in its own group. And it's got some shadowing layers in here and things built in with it. Uh, this soccer goal, if we zoom in, there's a lot of great detail going on in this goal. Uh, so it's a great piece that you could drop into other designs if you need to. This is the beauty of having these independent layers. And we'll come back to the sun flare in just a second when we change the look of the template. 
So we have some uh, text options built in here. So here's some upper text. Again, that's in a group, independently layered, so you can change that text as you need to. And we've got some lower text right here, and it's got a little banner effect with it as well. Okay, so all the layers for that, so those can be controlled. Uh, the flare colors and things, again, those are hue saturation layers. So if you just click on the layer in your property window, you can slide those around to whatever colors you would like to match those up to. Uh, we got some facial highlight boost right here. I'll show you how to use that in just a second. Some foreground fog. If you want to add some atmosphere into the foreground, you can do that. And then some color grading layers here just to kind of tie everything together. Okay, so there's kind of the nighttime look. I'm going to turn our banner text off for just a second. If we wanted to go with more of a daytime look, what I would do is I would turn off this night sky. I would turn off this darken layer. And I would turn off the night color. Okay, so now we have just kind of like a basic daytime layer. But then what I can do is come down to this highlight warmer, turn that on, and that's going to give like a warm glow if we want to do more of like a sunset look. And then with that, we can turn this sun flare on, and that's going to give us that evening look there for just, you know, if you want to change it up for a different effect. Another thing that I would suggest doing if you're going with a daytime look is going into the field lights and then turning off the light beams. And probably on the lights on, it's just maybe bring those down around 50% or so. And I kind of like the look of that. So turn these off, turn these down, like so. And so that gives us more of that evening type of daytime look too, which I think is really cool. Um, so then there's one other color grading layer, this extra warm. And that would just give you a little bit more of that warm evening color cast if you wanted to throw that on top of there. Okay. So as far as putting subjects in here, um, I really love this template because it works great for a variety here. So single subject, I think it looks great for like a single composite. Um, for seniors, things like that. Um, works really well for a large team group. So you can drop those in there easily. Works really well for smaller groups. Um, so, you know, if we wanted to turn that on, turn our lower text on here, you know, and we could create like a senior banner or something very easily here. Uh, and then I was going to mention the facial highlight boost. If you're not familiar with how I set those up, what this is is you're just going to click on the mask here. And I put this in here, let's grab a white brush, and I'm going to leave the flow around 30%, it's fine. And, and with white, what I'm doing is paint, painting on the black mask, and I'm painting over their faces. And this is designed to just bring the highlights of their faces up, because I want the subjects to stand out. When you add some color grading effects, sometimes their faces can wash out just a little bit. And so that's used just to bring some of those facial highlights back up. And the beauty is, is this is, you know, you've got opacity on this layer, so you can turn it up and down. If you've got some lighter skin tones, what I would suggest is just going back to black here, bringing the flow down on your brush, and you can just re just tap and remove a little bit of those brighter highlights, you know, just to even everybody out. And again, that's just to get those facial highlight features to pop back out from that color grading. So let's zoom out, take a look, look look at this. Again, if we wanted to switch this up to nighttime again, just to take a look here, what I would do is turn the sun flare off. I would turn on the night color. I would turn off the highlight warmer, turn on the dark, and turn on the night sky. And let's drop into our field lights and turn the beams on, lights up. And same right here, the light beams on, up. And you can see, so that quickly you can go from a daytime look to a nighttime look. And hope you guys get a lot out of this. Uh, had a blast making it. Really like the way that it turned out. And enjoy.